Good evening. I hope you're having a fantastic evening. I want to send warm greetings out here from Texas. It's actually a little chilly out here and it's kind of funny to watch people run around and a lot of us around here don't know how to drive in anything that's uh, wet, let alone snow or ice. So it could be a little funny. It could be a little fun. <laughs> We're going to get started here in a couple minutes. I want to give folks uh, just a few minutes. We're going to start two minutes after. Just want to give everybody a chance to, to get on board. Uh, if you guys have questions that you want me to particularly answer, if you want to type those in the chat, I'll be watching those. And uh, I'll probably answer them as we're going through, but if you have particular questions, um, so if you have general questions about neuroscience, about aromatherapy, feel free to put them in the chat. Um, and if you have more particular questions about like uh, your case or like, uh, like a friend or a condition or something like that, um, I'll give you a way to be able to, to ask me questions uh, at the end, okay? All right. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Really excited to have you all here. Um, this is uh, my presentation. I want to teach you a little bit about uh, aromatherapy and neuroscience. It was something that I found a particular interest in, not necessarily because I'm a nerd. Uh, I am, and I'm very grateful for that. It's fantastic. I love learning. I love details. Um, you know, I have my doctorate, and then that wasn't enough. Uh, but I, I really wanted it as a means to be able to understand oils better. I uh, found myself in, in, in grad school when I first discovered oils. Um, and I, I just wanted to understand them. I wanted to see what they do so that we can change people's lives. That's one of the reasons why I was drawn to doTERRA. So, all right. So a little bit about me, guys. Um, like I mentioned, I have my doctorate in chiropractic. I decided 11 years ago that I was gonna have my doctorate uh, and that dream was fulfilled this summer and I'm really grateful to God for that. It's been 11 years in the making and um, you know, I, I started out going through an undergraduate program and then finished my doctorate out at Parker University. And uh, as doctors specialize, I specialize in something called uh, functional medicine. I don't think that's the best term for it per se, but maybe a lot of you have heard uh, functional medicine as a term before and the idea is if you're if you're unfamiliar is that instead of testing for disease we test for health so for function uh, instead of testing for the worst case we test for the ideal and there's some very different uh, ways of going about things when you're just trying to keep people out of disease uh, pretty much anything will do but when you're shooting for the ideal you have a much more clearly painted goal and so when you, when you work with somebody like I do, uh, we're setting our sights on what does real function look like in the body? What does it look like in your, in your movement? What does it look like with your energy, with your mood? Uh, not just with, you know, uh, your blood labs, your urine or, or your gut and how that's all going. And when you do that, you're actually able to affect the whole person. So I'm, I'm a huge proponent of essential oils. I use them in my practice. Uh, and help my practice members use them. It's phenomenal. Um, I'm also an author. So after, let's see, I started writing Making Sense of Aromatherapy in April. Uh, so after, you know, a couple of revisions and, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, you know, frustrations trying to get it published, we finally did. So that was super exciting. Um, I'm also a dad, if you guys can see here, this is my son, Logan. Uh, he's hanging out with me at the office. He might pop in in the middle of the presentation. So that's him right there. <laughs> so I'm going to keep rolling. He'll find me. 
All right. Um, so why neuroscience? Excuse me. Logan. Come here, dude. Here. Logan. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Can you wave at the camera? We're on a call. There you go. So one of the reasons why I was really excited about neuroscience is because, well, this guy came along about the time I was uh, studying neuroscience. And so I actually got to watch an organic miracle uh, unfolding in front of me. Got to watch his, his brain, his reflexes, his abilities um, unfold. He's an incredibly smart young man. Um, and I also got to watch, you know, stress responses, got to watch, um, you know, his, his fingers start to work and stuff like that. And so as we were applying oils, of course, I was thinking, okay, you know, I understand that oils are safe and, you know, very effective for babies. But at the same time, I also wanted to know how's it working on everything in here. So that was really fantastic. Yeah, it was, it was. And so um, there are so many different axes. And when, when you take a look at the brain, for instance, excuse me, that's the microphone. Listen to them. You need to listen. Okay, here, check it out. They're not saying much. I'm the one talking. Okay, here you go. But you can listen in with me. All right. Um, but oh, yeah. my turn. Thank you. Um, but when you're taking a look at the, the different lobes of the brain, you have the frontal lobe, parietal, temporal, occipital, you have the cerebellum. But then one of the lobes that people don't really talk about is the limbic lobe. And this is in the middle, and we'll be talking about this one a whole lot because it ends up forming the filter for most all of your experiences. Um, so, you know, the, as you can see in here, like it's incredibly connected, and then it regulates a lot of the hormones. You know, you've heard of your HPA axis, maybe hypothalamic, pituitary, adrenal. And so it goes from your brain to the front of your brain to your adrenals and it regulates among other things how stressed you are and this is one of the one of the main ways that oils work on your body um, you also have you know that that set of hormones right there that that cascade right there starts in the hypothalamus affects at least eight other hormones including uh, thyroid hormones um, growth hormone uh, we're looking at you know your your sex hormones your, a lot of your steroid hormones are regulated from there um, also, oh gosh, there are so many. Um, and so these, these are all tied together through the limbic brain. And so uh, I wanted to know what was going on. And my neuroscience teacher was a phenomenal guy. Uh, and he realized the power of the limbic brain. And so he taught us a lot about it. Um, and then when I brought back oils and I, I drew him a picture, he loved to teach by drawing pictures. Um, and so he would, he would do that for us. And then I drew him a picture and I said, well, you know, this is what I think oils do. And uh, he, was, he was very excited about it. And so he bought some, which was really fantastic. Um, but let's talk about this. So your olfactory system, you guys are probably familiar with the basics of this. But when the molecules fly up into your nose, what happens is they bind right here uh, to these olfactory receptors. I don't know if you can see my cursor, but I'm using the, the bottom picture right there. You can see it in yellow. Um, and then from there, it sends a unique signal back to your brain. Now you're consciously only able to differentiate about five or 600 different smells, um, maybe up to 2000 if you're a real nose. Um, but if you're, um, if, but your body, so like people have said like, oh, you know, dogs' noses are better than ours. They have the ability to consciously, oh, ow. would you like to get down? <laughs> would you like to get down? There you go. Um, so the dogs have the ability to consciously smell more than we can. They can identify more of them to their own mind and know what's going on. But our body can react in different ways to millions of different scents. So we're more sensitive to them subconsciously. And because of that, they still have that effect on our body. Um, just to give you an idea, eyesight takes seven synapses before it reaches our conscious thinking. It has to bounce from our eyes back um, and then bounce around in our... Logan, it's my turn to do the talking. Do you want to go back and watch your show? 
you know, I found something for you. Thank you very much. I'm also not your mom. Sorry, guys. It's life. All right, so um, eyesight being super important to your body, you'd think that you know, you'd really want to make sure that it's going to be um, working for you. Um, but really, with your sense of smell, it's actually far, far more direct and far less filtered. Two synapses is nothing. It's, eyesight takes 100, one one hundredth and a fiftieth of a second to affect your brain. And it's seven. So cut that in half. It's milliseconds before it affects your brain in a very direct way. Here's some of the, uh, the different places that your sense of smell comes in. This, these bulbs right here, these olfactory tract here, that's right there where the olfactory receptors kick in. And then it goes back to your brain and it goes back to your, uh, your hypothalamus. It goes back to your olfactory corporate cortex, your hippocampus. That's where uh, you form a lot of memory. Um, your amygdala where you have an emotional response, sir. Those things are not for playing with. Please sit with me or you can go sit and watch your show. Okay. I want to go sit and watch your show. You want to go sit and watch your show? Mm -hmm. Okay. Guys, excuse me. I need to go set them up. Those of you who are parents, thank you for understanding. I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Come here, sir. No, you got that. No, I want to No. no, I, I think I'm ready, guys. I'm gonna I'm send gonna a cute turn this one on an email and say, "Hey, give me in a I choreograph this with John." All right, guys. If you guys would, uh, I can hear a couple of you. If you guys would make sure that you're muted, that would be fantastic. Thank you for bearing with me while I'm doing the, the parenting. Um, yeah. So moving on here, this here is some of the pathways in the brain um, when your when your um, sense of smell triggers off. It comes here to your hypothalamus. So this picture in the bottom left, and from there it goes to a whole lot of different places. Your thalamus sits right above it here. This is it highlighted in red. Second picture from the left on the bottom. You're only able to sense about 97% of what's going on in your, in, in your world around you. You would literally go mad if any more than that was coming through. It'd just be too much information. Your thalamus is responsible for processing all of that information and only letting the most crucial information through. That means that if you're processing two to 5% of reality, there are between 20 and 50 other realities that you aren't taking in. 20 to 50 other realities, and that doesn't even account for combinations. So uh, when you take a look at that, okay, some of the information may not be um, as relevant, if you will, but when you have the oils, it helps you be able to focus on the more important stuff, to be able to rule out the things that would make you anxious, um, and to be able to, to help you live a better life because you're focusing on the better things and you experience the same situation differently because of the oils. Maybe if you're using balance, for instance, you're going to be more calm, and because of that, you're gonna be able to see other details that help you not to freak out or not to overreact in a situation where otherwise you may have because you missed a detail. So that's the kind of impact that this can have. Now that has ripple effects in relationships, that has ripple effects in, you know, like your own health because when you're stressed out or when you remember something poorly, when you go to remember it again, you're gonna relive that exact same, yeah, that exact same physiology, all right? I, I want you guys to know that when you go into a memory, you experience the exact same physiology. Your body goes back to that point with your mind. And so if you spend a lot of time brooding, if you spend a lot of time in anxiety, uh, if you spend a lot of time in, in you know, these situations where you're remembering or thinking of horrible consequences in the future, your body actually reflects what it would do in that actual situation. And as you guys know, that's not going to be very uh, healthy for you long term. So hypothalamus, thalamus, changes what you notice. It goes to your amygdala and gives you more control. 
Uh, I can see some of you guys. Anybody by a show of hands ever heard of something called amygdala hijack? Okay, so you've heard of it. So it's this idea that you know your your emotions get wound up to such a point where your amygdala just says, "That's it. I'm in control, and we're in full freakout mode." Uh, it's pretty hard to come back from that point, and your amygdala and your brainstem kind of have this party together where they freak out. Um, and you basically lose control, your conscious mind loses control. So when you're able to calm your amygdala and regulate it to where, instead of going to full freak out over here, maybe you just go to like halfway freaking out, something where you still retain some control, that's gonna be really, really fantastic. Also, it's going to go to your dorsal lateral and orbital frontal prefrontal cortex right here. So this is on the outside, on the front, this is really where you're considered to have uh, your conscious brain uh, rational thinking, personality, uh, both development in youngers and in, um, up until like 28 years old. Your brain's not done growing until you're uh, 24 if you're female, 26 if you're a guy. Uh, and so it's a little interesting when you consider that we consider 18 year olds adults and 21 year olds have basically all the rights that they can do it. But the insurance kind of companies kind of have it right where they, uh, they ask you to be 26 before you can rent a car. It's because they know. Right, that's part of the reason. But if you want to help somebody become more mature, um, you know, know that the oils positively affect those areas of the brain. Um, let's talk about some of these other ones. Let me move this around here. Uh, if you look at the the bottom right side here, the the light blue here, that's highlighting the hippocampus, uh, and so it actually wraps up. It's a kind of like a a horseshoe shaped sort of thing, um, and that's where you start encoding and decoding memories. This is also one of the places where Alzheimer's starts and the inflammation spreads down the nerve network, which is why, and so that's why you have the short-term memories go first when you have cognitive decline in almost all cases, and then the long-term memories. Um, you know, in cases of like acute trauma or something like that, you'll find that, you know, they, they can't remember anything for a moment. Um, but, you know, mostly you lose those short-term memories first because that hippocampus is the most effective, very, very active. Um, you know, the, you have the dentate nucleus right in there, and that's where you're encoding those memories. And so when you use the oils, you can stabilize that. Um, you can use the oils to open up the blood flow to make sure that it's properly nourished, because if it's not, it runs uh, something called excitotoxic. This is when it's running so fast that it wears itself out, and the, the natural byproducts of metabolism, of just naturally being, get to be so much that it makes the nerve toxic and it can uh, be hurt or it can actually even die. Um, so this, is, this has massive implications for people who have a very brain intensive job, uh, people who are very stressed, people who have poor blood flow issues. Because at the, at the base of everything, a neuron needs three things. And this is going back to something basic called neuron theory. A uh, nerve needs sugar, it needs oxygen, and it needs stimulation. It's going to get oxygen and sugar both from uh, the blood flow, and it's going to get the stimulation from the neural networks. So it goes back to that idea of use it or lose it. Also, the whole part of your brain does not get an equal amount of blood flow. There are simply so many capillaries up there that your body doesn't have enough blood. It, it's being very efficient, and so it shifts blood around to the areas of the brain, of the brain that are being stimulated. And when they're not being used, the neurons basically go to sleep. Well, if you don't use them for long enough, you can imagine they don't get the stimulation. They don't get as nearly as much oxygen or as much blood sugar. And so after a while, they start to go downhill. That's why you want to make sure and keep using your brain as you get older in order to, uh, to, to keep your mind sharp. Uh, yeah, hippocampus is very, very important. So memory-based games are going to stimulate this area of the brain. Um, all right, taking a look at your insula. This is right here. You have your uh, posterior, middle, and anterior insula. Um, your insula is responsible for a whole lot of things uh, involved in maturity, impulse control, um, emotions related to losing, and especially losing money. Um, so if you have some sort of anxiety around that, if you have impulse control, uh, if you have, uh, this also regulates how intense your physical bodily pain is. So it's like a dimmer switch on, on your bodily pain. Uh, and, and you can access this consciously. I don't know if you can see, it's really, I hope you can see my cursor here. It's really close to the front of the brain here, which is closer to that blue section here that's highlighted. 
Uh, and so you can access that through your conscious brain. You can also access it with essential oils. Um, so talking about impulse control, uh, the, the oils go like they affect your olfactory nerve. It fires back and then it fires out into your basal ganglia here. This is the middle picture here. And I really wanted to talk about this. Um, I don't want to go too off the deep end with this, but the implications for um, smoothness in your life are, are huge. If you think about impulsiveness, if you think about jerkiness, uh, whether physical or emotional, uh, we're talking ADD, ADHD, um, we're talking OCD, tics, um, all of those sorts of things are highly affected by your basal ganglia. Um, that's also going to play a role in your direct and indirect pathways, which are going to affect things like Parkinson's. It's going to affect things like uh, different types of chorea where the, the body just starts moving on its own. Um, so those are kind of like far out there cases. But if you notice that you're slowing down as you're getting older, you're going to want to use these oils. Or if you know somebody who's doing that, you're going to want to get oils on them that help stimulate this part of the brain. Uh, those are definitely going to be mints and citrus and that sort of thing to be able to get this part of the brain rolling the basal ganglia, right? And that's gonna help maintain your dopamine, maintain your drive for life. Uh, when this gets low, you just don't wanna do anything. You don't have no drive, no purpose. Uh, and so it can leave you really kind of high and dry and just like feeling like a blob. Like even though you're, you might be happy, you might be enjoying life, you just feel very gray, like very, um, like not, not super into life at that point. Um, all right, so um, something that I was surprised to find out and that I'm really, really pleased to tell you guys about is that aromatherapy doesn't just affect um, you aromatically. So when you breathe something in, obviously the, the sense, the molecules don't stop at your nose, they go here and then they, you know, they send that signal up to your brain, but they also keep going. They diffuse into your bloodstream via your lungs and you have aromatic receptors, get this, you have aromatic receptors on your lungs, on your heart, on your kidneys, on your liver, on your blood cells, and on um, ovarian and testicular cells. So when you're breathing something in and it travels through your bloodstream, it binds to these other important organs like it does to your brain. And so you can have a very quick response. When you're breathing oils in in your hands and breathing them in in your lungs, it's present in a, in a significant amount in your bloodstream very quickly, we're talking like 10, 20 seconds. Um, and so like when you're wanting to look to protect your lungs and your heart, uh, your kidneys, your liver, these, these are just, if you wanna live a long and healthy life, you need to maintain these. So it's gonna be really fantastic. Their implications for hormones um, are just insane because your liver produces the vast amount of your immune proteins. All right, a lot of your immune cells are produced in, in the blood system, in your marrow. Um, so if you want to have, you know, decrease your stress, you want to stay away from autoimmunity, maybe you want to recover, uh, you're looking at, you know, like different kind of organ diseases, detox, if you want to take care of your heart and make sure that you stay away from cardiovascular disease, um, or you want to use this in conjunction with other treatment to, to move forward, um, this is where it's at. Lastly, Every cell has these things called G protein coupled receptors. Don't sweat the name. All right, it's a big old thing. It's a complicated pathway, but they are essentially aromatic receptors. So when you're talking about the oils spread and have their effect through each of these cells, every one of your cells, it's true. And it's interacting with them on the cell membrane. But then because they're oils, they go right through as well and affect your DNA. Um, so let's talk about affecting your DNA here. Um, guys, in 1995, they finished the Human Genome Project. Just to put this in perspective, I'm a fully licensed doctor and I was two years old when they finished the Human Genome Project. The implications of this have not yet reached everybody else. We're talking epigenetics here. Only about 40 to 60% of your DNA is being transcribed at any one time. I'm going to say that again. Only about half of your DNA is being transcribed at one time. So 
when you look at your body right now, if you're in the worst health you've ever been, there's an entire another you. Your, your health is here because this DNA is being used. There's a whole entire you if you start tapping into this. And if you're in great health right now or mediocre health and you're concerned about going over here, what you need to know is that the DNA that's transcribed is totally determined by the cellular environment. What kind of environment? Chemical, emotional, physical. In a state of trauma, the cells don't produce the healthiest stuff. You guys know this. In a case of emotional stress, your hormone cascades are gonna go towards stress, your fight or flight mode, right? And then you're gonna produce that kind of just get me to tomorrow kind of thinking by your cells. That's not a long-term health strategy that's run away from the tiger. You're supposed to stay there for 10 minutes or less. If, however, you wanna like live long, right, and prosper and, and enjoy your health, then you need to get into a uh, rest, digest uh, kind of state, the more calm down state. And one of the ways you can do this is when you do this, right? You can use oils to do this. Uh, you can use breathing techniques, um, mindfulness-based uh, stress reduction, oh gosh, uh, massage, uh, different types of therapy, um, acupuncture. Uh, the list goes on of, of really amazing things that can help get you into a, into a resting state. When you do this, it changes what DNA you're turning into proteins, building into your cells in 20 minutes or less. There is a genetic change happening in 20 minutes or less when you use your oils. So the question then becomes, is this only affecting me? A lot of people tell me, oh, well, Dr. Nelson, my health is my business. And I say, no, it's not. You got married and you have people in your life. So it's not just affecting you. And if you're not married and you don't have kids in your life yet, well, you really need to be careful with this. It's not like it absolves you of any kind of responsibility because the health that you have when you start having a family affects the starting point of your children. This is especially true for guys. The six months up beforehand when they're trying to have kids, right? Their health at that point is determining the epigenetic quality that gets passed on which genes are coded to be active as soon as they implant when you're developing the embryo, which will turn into the fetus, turn into the baby, right? So, so for a woman, however, her, her ovary, right? Her, her ovaries produce the eggs actually when she's still in utero in her mom. So for all of you grandmas out there, the starting point of your grandchildren happened when you were pregnant with your daughter. Huge. So then you can at least affect two, three, four generations down by taking care of your health. Now, the absolute state of possible health is defined by the genetic code. There's some things that we can't get away from. Maybe like your family just straight up doesn't have this amazing gene, or maybe it, it does have this other one. So there's this range of possibility that's determined by your entire code. But what part of that you pass on as active, that's their starting point, they have to make their own choices, but what part of that you live and what part of that you pass on as active as that starting point for your children, your grandchildren, is up to you. And you can't choose those consequences, really. You can just choose your choices now. And you can trust that if you make good choices in your health now, your children and your grandchildren will have those benefits. Uh, also, so if you're, if you're teaching your children, if you're teaching your grandchildren how to use these oils, if you're teaching your, your, the little girls who are your granddaughters, how to take care of themselves with these oils, you're directly reaching down and affecting the starting point of your great, great grandchildren, four generations down. That's the impact that this can have. And so just by living this lifestyle, by using these oils, um, you can help decrease the occurrence of 
uh, you know, like neurodegenerative diseases like ADD, ADHD, autism, uh, OCD, ODD, um, that's oppositional defiant disorder, um, tics, uh, seizures, all of these sort of things will go down in, in the generations to come because of the use of the oils that you're using right now, because the education and the empowerment that you're passing on. Um, you, when you change your health also, you make that positive example for friends, for uh, non-related family members and stuff like that. And they start to see, as they see you getting older, as they start to see you living your life with health and vitality, some of them are going to make the choice to be like, you know what, they're onto something. I'm gonna get on that gravy train and ride it all the way to mashed potato land. If you know what I'm saying? So uh, this is something that I'm super, super passionate about. This is one of the reasons why our team is called Pure Legacy. Um, pure because it's, um, we actually uh, tagged this before uh, doTERRA said pursue what's pure. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but this idea of purity, both in life uh, and, and pursuing the things that are good, uh, avoiding the things that dim the eye and, and dim your health and vitality. Uh, but also this idea of legacy, because you can't get away from the fact that what you do directly impacts the brains, the hearts, the lungs, the, the organs, the overall health of your children, your grandchildren, and your grand, great-grandchildren uh, pretty much directly. Um, and even after the fact, if, if they're already born, you can educate them, you can pass down these habits to them, and you can, change, you can reach down four generations to bless your family. So it's, it's, the impact is almost mind blowing. Um, so a lot of people, sometimes I get stuck on one side of things or the other. As, as a portal of entry doctor, I'm trained to deal with both disease and health. Uh, and sometimes I get stuck on one side or the other. So I wanted to have these pictures here to remind me. We want to look at this because the use of oils can positively affect any condition. If we're going to change our immunity, if we're going to modulate that. Uh, if we're going to, you know, help with our hormones, with our mental health, um, it's literally any condition. Um, I don't have a copy with me right now. I, I left it at home, but the, uh, I love, absolutely love the uh, Essential Life 6th edition that Oil Life just came out with. Also, if you look up essential oils for pregnancy, birth, and babies, I've got pictures of those at the end of the slide for your reference. Um, those are my go-tos for references for any kind of condition in oil. This is a reactive approach to using oils, obviously. We want to be able to use them proactively. I mean, that's the ideal, right? We, why not? Why wait to get sick, suffer, and then have to go through all of the work to recover? Because recovery is more work than maintenance, far more work than maintenance. Uh, so why wait? Um, on the other side, we could be proactive about things. You can make sure that you're taking care of, of your organs, you're taking care of your body systems, you're taking care of your mental health, your emotional health, your spiritual health. Um, and there are, if you, if you, you can do, you can do blood tests. Um, you can go talk with friends. You can go get counseling or something like that. And like proactively seek out these sort of things to keep you healthy. Um, there are also questionnaires that you can take. Um, I love to, to put myself and, and my practice members through questionnaires on the regular. Because just by sitting down and answering some questions, a little bit of, of thought, we can start to see different organ systems having problems before we necessarily have identifiable symptoms. Somebody's just feeling off and they don't know which of their 13 systems needs the most care. Put them through five, 10 minute questionnaire, you know, okay, maybe 15 minutes if it's a stressful day. Um, and you can figure out what it is. And then based off of that, you can go back and you can oil up uh, and you can use that to stay healthy. So. Um, we're looking at, you know, like the implications, if you're dealing with DNA, if you're dealing with, uh, you know, inflammation out of the top 10 killers, only three are traumatic and seven of them are inflammatory based illnesses. Uh, we live in a, we live in an amazingly blessed time for many reasons. The U S has the best crisis care in the world, hands down. Um, we have more people in the world are dying from an overabundance of calories than a lack I mean, this is, this is a first in this world. Used to be more people died of starvation. Still a problem. People are still dying. But we've got more food than we need um, in a lot of cases. And this is, it's been more, it's more available than it ever has been. But more speaking more specifically to your situation, we have resources, texts, and healing oils at an arsenal that you can order without a license. Um, 
and you can help yourself, your family, your friends, your neighbors, your community, and you have access to knowledge, a purity of knowledge that's not filled by, um, you know, if you'll pardon, if you'll pardon the phrase, old wives' tales about, oh, this helps with this, and you know, uh, turn the baby upside down, you know, swat them three times on the butt, and that cures, you know, some kind of illness. Like those sort of things. Oh my gosh! Speaking of viruses, and uh, in right about the 1910s, in case you want to see how far healthcare has come, in the 1910s, it was standard of care to put somebody with a viral infection in a full body plaster cast to help them fever more effectively. A hundred years later, we understand that this is not the best idea. Thankfully, 50 years ago, 70 years ago, they finally did away with it. So just want to give you an idea of how far we've come uh, and, and we're going further and further. And so like, I'm, I'm super excited to be able to uh, help you guys see this. Um, but yeah, so you're taking a look at this. We can affect any condition because you're talking about DNA, immunity, inflammation, um, cell modulation, long-term health, short-term health. Your oils are unbelievably powerful. You have a library of them. You have, I can't even remember how many single oils are available to us through doTERRA. I think it's pushing, I think it's pushing like 50, 55 or 60 single oils and then like another 80 blends that are available to us. Most, most healers had about 30 to 50 remedies available to them. You have almost triple that. We're not even counting the supplements yet, guys, um, that are available to you on the open market, supported by research that's continually looking to improve itself for how you can take care of. You guys are set up better than most healers have for the past millennia. This is an amazing time to be alive, and it's an amazing time to be partnering with doTERRA. Uh, so we can all be so super grateful to them and to, to Oil Life and the other companies that are providing this information, the researchers and all of those teams, uh, and of course, our, our networking, uh, our sourcing network, right? So um, let's move on here. If you wanna get the most from your oils, so you wanna get the, the most bang for your buck, uh, Dr. Hill is always talking about the the efficacy of the oils is based on their purity and their potency, obviously, um, but it's dependent on dosage and delivery. So if you don't have the right dose, if you have too much or you have too little and you can't have both, um, then you're not gonna get the desired effect. It's kind of hard to miss on the high end, just gonna put that out there. Um, it's pretty easy to miss on the low end. Maybe you're not putting in enough. Maybe it's not being delivered to the right place. Um, so you wanna follow those, those dosage recommendations. If you're taking a look at an adult rated at about 150 pounds, you can average and spread out throughout the day about a drop an hour or four to six drops in a four to six hour period, okay? So those are about 24 to 36 drops is the max that your body can use productively. That's a lot of oil, um, but there are some cases in which a body definitely needs it. Um, if, you're, if you're a child, um, so starting about one to two, going up to about 75 pounds, so about 12 years old, uh, you need about half of that. So you're looking at eight, uh, 12 to 18 drops in a day, or uh, about three to four drops every four to six hours. Uh, for babies, um, dilution is, is a great place to start, but different babies have different tolerance to oils. So what I'd suggest and what we did for Logan is we start with something that was super, super diluted, uh, we're talking 10, 20 to one, sometimes a little more, and that's still got a fantastic effect. So we, we start with a low dilution, and then when that didn't get the effect that we wanted, we put another drop of oil into the little roller bottle, and then we put it on. And when that got the effect, okay, we're good. And so we slowly ramped it up as his body, you know, started asking for more and more. Uh, and that's one of the, I found one of the, one of the most uh, prudent and one of the most effective ways to take care of your, like I'm talking to infants, uh, baby uh, oil needs. Um, supplements, guys, supplements are gonna make things more effective. If you have the oils, we talked about these direct which part of your DNA is transcribed, but they provide nothing of the building blocks you need in order to transcribe your DNA into healthy proteins. If you want good quality proteins, if you want to decrease the inflammation, if you want to uh, you know, make sure that the sugar levels are appropriate in your body to be able to build these things to provide that positive environment to determine what part of your DNA is transcribed, 
um, then you really need to be taking advantage of the supplements. If your gut bacteria is off, that's going to lead you down a short path towards uh, cognitive decline, autoimmunity, um, inflammatory diseases like um, heart disease, uh, diabetes, um, all of the major ones out there, um, mental illness of varying kinds is all inflammatory. If you start with your gut and heal that, you're going to be doing well. Terrazyme is going to go great with that. Uh, Terra greens are phenomenal for giving you the cofactors and the vitamins uh, and the antioxidants that you need. Um, the polyphenol complex, the deep blue polyphenol, this is probably one of my favorite uh, products that doTERRA turns out um, because of its benefits for the brain. It is simply, simply incredible. It's been formulated for a while. If you guys don't know this, you can tack it onto your lifelong vitality on LRP for only 20 bucks. The bottle by itself costs 60. So you're getting it for a third of the price when you buy it with your lifelong vitality. My wife and I don't make a single order where we're not ordering a bottle of deep blue with our lifelong vitality. It's, it's just that phenomenal. Um, if you want to get the most out of your oils topically, uh, you're going to want to dilute it. Not because your skin is so super sensitive. It might be. If your skin is super sensitive, your body's trying to get rid of toxins through your skin. And it's like that is a last resort. If it's trying to get rid of toxins through your skin, it means your gut is failing, your kidneys are failing, your liver is failing, your spleen's overwhelmed, uh, you're in bad shape. So for the people who have um, skin reactions to oils, it's not the oils, guys. It's their skin that's built up with toxins. Your body's like, I have no other organs to throw it into. You know, this, la this, this line of defense, your skin is a line of defense between you and the outside world. And if you fill it with toxins, it becomes more fragile. You don't want to do that because when you do that, you make yourself more susceptible to disease because you have a, a less uh, strong defense, right? Your skin has to be strong. Um, it needs to be no cracks, um, no irritation, uh, nothing that makes you want to itch or scratch. Those cause holes through which bacteria can slip in and infect your body. So by the time it's detoxing through your skin, that's a last ditch effort. Your body's in bad shape. So when you come across somebody who's doing that, don't feel bashful. Yeah, it's just very clear that their liver is trying to detox through their skin. They need some help. All right. So um, for more regularly reacting people, uh, just to let you know, skin reactions are reported at somewhere around one in upwards of one in 10,000. So like maybe there are a couple more than that, but they're, they're pretty rare. So just want to, want to let you know about that. It's, it can be a pretty serious thing. Not even really that serious. The most serious reactions to oils on skin have been non doTERRA oils. Um, so like our oils are so amazing. They're, they're so clean. Like even people who are having severe problems can almost always metabolize them. So like, you're probably not going to run into this. Uh, but the reason why you want to dilute with topical use coming back to things is, uh, because when you put the oils on your skin, about half of it's going to evaporate off. And just when you trap it on your skin with the coconut oil, the coconut oil is uh, the, the medium chain triglyceride. You've heard of MCTs. They're phenomenal also for your brain health. Uh, for brain energy. But what they do is they're just the right length. Butter would turn solid at room temperature and you don't really want to smear butter. Um, it wouldn't mix really well with the oils and you know, forget it when it got cold. Um, but olive oil then is a long chain. All on the, olive oil, avocado oil, um, walnut oil, those sorts of things. If you've ever had those on your skin, you know they, the greasiness never really goes away from your hands um, because it doesn't go in. So it would trap the oils on the outside of your body. That's why we use the fractionated coconut oil. So it stays liquid at room temperature and lower, um, but it's also absorbed into your skin and it takes the oils with them. So if you just apply the essential oil by itself, then uh, you're losing about 50%. But if you use the coconut oil, only about 10% gets away and you're getting 90%. So that's why the topical applications are almost always diluted, in case you're wondering. So uh, guys, my hope for, for this book and for this class here is I want to help you guys be able to establish greater legitimacy for the oils, both in your minds and also out there as, as a work to be able to be referenced. Um, obviously, at some point, it's going to become outdated, but it's going to, it's going to be a, a, a marking stone, if you will, to guide people 
this is one of the steps that we took towards a greater education and, and understanding of what the oils can do for our health. And also, you know, like what we can do for ourselves, for our children. Um, I want to be able to have something. Um, anybody else out there? I uh, can't see a lot of you. That's okay. But um, if you know somebody who's a skeptic, who's like, I want to see the research or, you know, what's the science behind this? How does it work? How cool would it be just be able to have a loaner copy and just be able to say, here you go. Don't take my word for it. Because in the back of my book is a whole bibliography of like some 30 odd um, research articles that led me to the conclusions and, and the, the connections that are made in the book. Um, I want this book to generate more questions. I would love to write a sequel to where we take it to the next level. Um, and I think that good education should always lead to more questions. There should never be any, anything settled in, in learning. Um, it, it should always, always be growing. And so I hope you guys uh, like send me your questions um, and ask each other and like and it, it turns into this conversation where we can grow our understanding and, and help raise awareness. You know, those questions both of did you know and also I wonder how this works. Um, yeah, I want it to be a, a resource for you guys. I mean, that's why I wrote it and that's why I kept it, kept it more simple. The ideas that I'm talking in there are profound and each one of them could be an entire day's lecture uh, for you know, like at a postgraduate level, but that's not necessary. I've, I've come to see that that level of education, while it's phenomenal for advancing our understanding, can be paralyzing for people. Folks need something that's short, punchy, here's the truth, here's what you do about it. And something that takes them an hour, maybe an hour and a half to read tops, um, and it should be easily easy to reference. So the oils have power, and when we cross, if you take a look at this little uh, design here, the oils have power by far. And with the increase in legitimacy as documented by, you know, different books, um, the, I mean, um, Marissa Snyder came out with her book, The Essential Hormone Solution. Phenomenal book, 100% uh, recommend. Um, but, you know, as, as we're gaining more traction in the, in the publishing world and out, everything out there, you have the legitimacy and the power together. When you have that, you have cultural authority. And if, if you're a business builder, if, if you're just a user, you just want to get your friends on board, you want them to understand the power, you want them to be able to harness this for their families and their future generations, this is the time. Like the, the vast majority of people in the United States are coming on board here in the next five years. So this is going to be really, probably next five to 10 years, it's going to be phenomenal. So I uh, wanted to, to make sure and have this here for you guys because different people need to understand information different ways. Some people just smell the oil, they're like, I'm good to go. Other people smell the oil and they're like, yeah, but what's the science say? This can help with both types of people. All right, so how to get the book. Guys, um, I'm super excited that this is available online. If you go to oillife.com, uh, if you just search Making Sense, it's the only title of, of the book on, on Oil Life. You can just uh, type Making Sense in the search bar. I tried it earlier and it brings my book up right away. Uh, it's available for only $19.99 plus tax and shipping. Um, and we only have a limited number of copies available. I want to let you guys know that. So if you want one, please get it while the getting's good. Um, I did want to let you know, though, I am offering, making a special offer for you guys today. This is a first edition. I want this to turn into something special for you guys. Uh, I did this deal earlier for um, my uh, more immediate team. Um, but I would love to give you guys a signed copy and share that with you, addressed to any one of your choosings. So this could make a gift. Um, and it's going to have a special insert of my top 10 favorite recipes and protocols. Yeah. And I'm going to be able to make this available to you guys for yeah. only $33.84. Yeah. who turned on the <clears throat> they're, motion, they're motion activated. Can you say hi to everybody again? Logan makes a reprise. So uh, first edition copy. Uh, these are going to be, uh, it's a, like I said, limited copies available. And the way to make sure you get yours is to send me uh, $33.84. You can either PayPal it to me right here or shoot me a Venmo, and in the notes, put the address that you want it sent to, all right? And I'll make sure and have that to you guys. Uh, it's gonna take a couple of weeks, I'm gonna make a bulk order, uh, get them from Oil Life, sign them, uh, put the inserts in, mail them out to you. Um, and so, wanted to make sure that's available to you guys. Uh, some frequently asked questions I get, um, can oils help with, people are always like, yeah, yeah, we talked about that, but can oils help with, yes. Just the blanket answer is yes. 
They can help with any condition if you want to combine them with other therapies. They help make them more effective. Um, again, the essential life and essential oils for pregnancy, birth, and babies are my staples going to for references, um, you know, when I don't know something off the top of my head. Um, can I send a book to a friend of yours? Yes, absolutely. Uh, just go ahead and send me the, I'm going to go back to the information for the PayPal and the Venmo. Um, you can send a book to a friend of yours. Uh, if you're interested, you like my approach and you want to, you're wondering, can I become your patient? Yes, absolutely. You can put in an application. I'll see if I can accept you into my practice. Um, and so I will put the email in the chat for my practice. Let me see here. Uh, and so that I'll, I'll put that in the chat there. And if you want to shoot me an email and, and apply for my practice, we can do that. Um, so I'm going to go back to this slide right here. Um, let me exit out of this. I'm going to put this in the chat for you guys. Uh, at this point, I'm going to be able to take questions for about five minutes. And that's the time I've got to share with you this evening. I really want to thank you guys for being here. So if you don't have any questions, you don't want to hear about them, feel free to hop off. But if you do, um, feel free to pipe up and I will take those questions now. Hello. Hello. Hello, Daddy. There we go. I see All you right. on the computer. All right, let me let me address some of these questions here. Um, you. Yes, so this will be recorded for you guys. Thanks, thanks. I uh, got some comments on the on the kiddo. Yeah, yeah. recordings will be sent out tomorrow. Hey, hey, we're almost done. All right. Yeah. Love, I'm loving some of these comments. Um, can we have access to the questionnaire he referred to? Um, so those are, uh, those are for my practice members. And so if you want to use those, um, shoot me an email. Let me put that email address here. It's advocatewellness.tx at gmail.com. Guys, I'm also set up for, <clears throat> also set up to do uh, telemedicine. I can order labs through a co-op in any of the 50 states and any of the protectorates of the United States. Um, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm Sir, gonna fix, you're going to fix gonna it? You're going to put it back together? Okay. To Please sit over here and do that. You're being a little, little very active. Have a seat. Thank you. All right. Um, do I work with cancer patients? Yes. Yes, absolutely. I do. Um, the medical legal side of it is I do not treat cancer. I tell people very clearly, in all of my practice members, I don't treat your disease. That's a limited view of your health and I would be doing you a disservice. If you have cancer, you wanna work with me? Absolutely, we can, we can see if, uh, if we're a good fit to work together. And um, I have protocols to help with inflammation to decrease things, to help you be able to reset the inflammation and the, and the DNA transcription in your body. Um, we're also gonna keep working with your PCP. He's gonna work on the cancer and we're gonna work on your health. That's what we're gonna do. Um, all right, social profile. Um, here. There's the Facebook page for, for my uh, practice. Um, hi, bud. Okay, you found it, excellent. Okay, please have a seat and be quiet. All right, let's see. There we go. All right, do we have any other questions for you guys? Oh yeah, you're very welcome, very welcome. Any last questions? Type them in, unmute yourself, speak up. I'm gonna watch it. You're very welcome. Very welcome, guys. Again, thank you for spending your evening with us. Uh, your time is precious, and I hope this has been a valuable experience for you guys. Uh, again, the recordings will be sent out tomorrow. Um, if, you need, <clears throat> if you need any of those contacts, feel free to reach out to Oil Life or to myself. The email address, again, is advocatewellness.tx for my home state of Texas at gmail.com. All right, I look forward to, uh, to working with you guys, uh, answering questions for you, and uh, Yes.
please uh, please continue to patronize Orlife. They have been phenomenal in the support of doTERRA and all of the products that we enjoy. All right, Logan, can you wave goodbye to everybody? Goodbye. Very good. All right. Good night, everybody. Have a great time. Wash, wash.